The Montauk Project is best known as the inspiration for the hit Netflix feature series, Stranger Things. But long before Eleven and her friends took to the screen, conspiracies have surrounded this alleged U.S. military program for years. Welcome to Spooky Journaling and Crafts, a channel that features strange, dark, and spooky stories told to relaxing journaling content. If you enjoy this video, please consider subscribing and ding the notification bell so that you can be updated the next time I post. Now then, let's dive into the story of the Montauk Project. The primary topic of the Montauk Project concerns the alleged activities at Montauk Point, New York, where a number of the smartest scientists were said to work with technology given to them from various extraterrestrial groups. These stories center on topics including United States government and military experiments in fields such as time travel, teleportation, mind control, contact with extraterrestrial life, and staging faked Apollo moon landings, framed as developments which followed a successful 1943 Philadelphia experiment, which we will get into in just a moment. UFO researcher Jacques Vallée states that the Montauk experiment stories seem to have originated with the highly questionable account of Preston Nichols and Al Bialek, who both claimed to have recovered repressed memories of their own involvement, though the operation was known as a black hole project where the highest levels of clearance were required. Documents, hardware, and everything involved was allegedly buried in a black vault and only those with a need to know have access to it. According to Preston Nichols, the experiments included remote viewing and what is now known as the Montauk Chair, which used electromagnetism to further the psychic powers of whoever sat in it. A similar device is used in Stranger Things, where the character Eleven, with a shaved head, is fitted with a helmet of wires while she sits in a chair and tries to open a portal to the Upside Down. The story of the Montauk Project intersects with a long-standing and somewhat well-known conspiracy theory regarding the so-called Philadelphia Experiment of 1943. According to the lore, the U.S. military was trying to find ways to bypass Nazi radar during World War II by using electromagnetic fields similar to the ones that would one day supposedly be used in the Montauk Chair. The various versions of this story say that the military successfully developed a technique that rendered the USS Eldridge, stationed at a naval shipyard in Philadelphia, not just invisible to radar, but completely invisible to the naked eye. What's more, the ship was supposedly then transported through a hole in space-time more than 200 miles away. When the Eldridge reappeared at the Philadelphia shipyard several minutes later, some crew members had been fused into the bulkheads of the ship or had rematerialized inside out. Al Bialek claims to have been one of the crewmen on the Eldridge that survived. Al insisted that he was once a man named Edward Cameron, and he and his brother Duncan were crew members on the USS Eldridge in 1943, when it allegedly became invisible and teleported. He suggested that the Philadelphia Experiment and the Montauk Project were linked because when the Eldridge broke out of space-time, it dropped himself and his brother in the middle of Montauk's Camp Hero 40 years later. This account seems preposterous, and, of course, several of Al's claims can be debunked. But does that mean the Montauk Project never existed? 
In 2017, a 52-year-old man named Stuart Swerdlow, living in Michigan, told The Sun that he was one of the Montauk boys that Nichols describes, and that he and others like him were subjected to horrific abuse. Supposedly, the program would target orphans, runaways, or the children of drug addicts. According to Swerdlow, the aim was to fracture your mind so that they could program you. They would change the temperature from very hot to very cold, starve you and then overfeed you. I remember being beaten with a wooden pole, and they loved to hold your head under water until you nearly drowned. That was effective. It makes a person likely to listen to and obey their quote-unquote rescuer. They also used LSD to put our brains into an altered state. Swerdlow even alleged that he and other Montauk boys were sent to Mars and back to biblical times via the project's portals. In the early days, as they were perfecting the coordinates, a lot of boys were simply lost, he said. I still have nightmares about it today. I wasn't there when the Montauk chair was shut off, but I felt it, like I had suddenly been unplugged from electricity. The Montauk project was ended in the 1980s after the subjects involved in the experiment rebelled after allegedly accidentally summoning a giant, hairy, demonic beast with the Montauk chair. The equipment was destroyed in order to keep the creature trapped in its original dimension. The basement levels of Camp Hero have supposedly been flooded with concrete, and anyone involved with the experiment allegedly had their memories repressed. So what do you think? Was the Montauk Project real? Did the Philadelphia Experiment of 1943 actually happen? I hope you enjoyed this story. Subscribe to the channel for more creepy journaling content. Give a thumbs up and comment down below for the YouTube algorithm. Thanks for watching and come back soon, cryptids.